have this thing in my shoulder that's been ooh, that's been hurting me a little bit. And today's wash day. Between you and I, I don't know if it's like in my head because it's wash day, I'm making excuses. Jen, would you go that far? Today is going to be a very wash day and chill with Jen type of day. I don't have anything written down. This is very flowy, easy breezy, back in the day Jen. And I have so many of these videos, y'all, where I used to just sit and talk. Is this on? Oh no, it's not even on. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl. Mm, mm. It's your girl. Jen of course, welcome back. You guys missed the intro. You keep telling me every single day on Instagram. By the way, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're here. I mean, you're already here. Plus, I have a newsletter. Oh, I should probably update you guys on what's going on with the brand. Quickly, if you don't know, I quit my job. I got married. So I'm basically working on this full time. And... I've already been thinking about a lot all the things that I want to do the direction of this brand and one thing that I actually got started a couple of months ago but I never really advertise it is a newsletter we have a newsletter so I'm gonna leave a link down below for you to sign up we're gonna talk about beauty over there self-care and like productivity you know just more mindset stuff mixed with the beauty because you know we do like to look good Although today my look is very questionable. My hair is two weeks old. Very itchy. My scalp is on fire. I'm not gonna lie. But today is wash day. So I'm gonna take my time to wash my hair. And you know what? It's been a while since I've washed my hair and had the time. I have nothing planned for the rest of the day. And I will highly encourage you to do that if you have been ignoring your hair for a while and you're finally getting into it you know it's gonna take a while <laughs> don't play yourself give yourself time and if you don't have the time do it when you have time we also have a TikTok, and by we i mean me i also have not really been talking a lot about it but i will link it down below for you to go and subscribe and like if you really want to keep up with me on a day-to-day -day basis instagram stories it's where it's at products that we're going to be using today for our wash day um like i said my hair is two weeks old and it <sighs> feels very much matted especially on top I also have not been <laughs> I hate to admit it I have not been tying my hair down at night <sighs> I've been horrible to my hair but now that I have more time at least I hope I'm gonna have more time because I'm working on a lot of different things now that I imagine I will have more time the goal is to be more consistent with my hair care routine and I stopped enjoying washing my hair when I felt like it was a chore. I had to quickly do it because I have a bunch of other stuff to do. And that's when I kind of feel like I don't enjoy the process. But today, <laughs> girl, today? Okay, so these are the products that we're going to be using today. We have Maui Moisture on the shampoo. I had a partnership with them. So if you are on Instagram, then you probably saw me use this product. But this is the one that we're going to be using today. This conditioner is the one that the stylist actually used in my hair when she did my hair for my wedding. If you're on Instagram, <laughs> you've already seen the videos but if you're not honestly I don't I don't really understand like why not and to who this mask made my hair feel so good when the stylist put it in my hair honestly the second she put it in I touched my hair and I was like ooh, I knew I needed it in my life I didn't know it was L'Oreal and apparently L'Oreal <laughs> is uh, making some great products now but that's what we're gonna be using immediately I knew I needed to have it so I bought it leave-in conditioner this is an old product <laughs> it's by eco slay is the rice pudding I actually really loved this conditioner though it made my hair feel really good but at the time when I had it I was using a ton of different products so it really took a back burner and on top of that you need to refrigerate this product it's all organic um but I stopped refrigerating it it also says to leave it you need to use it within a year or something does it say that i feel like i read that somewhere this product is two years old <laughs> it's fine though it's fine it's fine and for the gel we are gonna use another product recommended by the stylist this is the product that she used to do my curl definition and immediately i was like i need to try it so i got it off of amazon i thought the size was gonna be bigger the one she had at the salon was huge but I guess Amazon has different sizes actually I just realized I didn't really check the ingredient on the mask I, oh, and it's too small I can't read it what is this one? Oh, it's also very small but I don't think this is like a botanical gel honestly it's like a regular gel it was I think $10 or something and you know what while I'm in the shower and washing my hair I'm gonna tell you a story cuz I'm in a great great mood today you guys today's Monday and I woke up super early it was 8 o'clock and I just sprung out of bed something happened that I wanted to share so I'm going to do that as I show you the whole process of me washing my hair 
All right. So it's present day, Jen, and I'm flattered that you think I will remember what I wanted to talk to you about back in August. <laughs> but I do want to talk today about the importance of time. Are we using it wisely or are we wasting it? Because why do I have this footage sitting on a hard drive from August? And if I'm being honest, I have hard drives full of content, y'all, that I have never uploaded. Why? Why do I do this to myself? It's not that I don't work hard, but there's always something that happened between filming and editing and actually pushing the upload button. And I have been thinking about it and I feel like I've always had this issue with my consistency. One thing that I feel like I'm known for in these YouTube streets is being inconsistent. And the thing is, I've always had an excuse for my inconsistency with everything in life. I'm working two jobs. I'm tired. I deserve a break. I'm pregnant. I have a newborn. There's always something. And the reality is there will always be something. But there comes a time where you have to sit and face yourself and say, self, when are you going to run out of excuses and just do the damn thing? And the answer is I will never run out of excuses. I will always have an excuse as to why I didn't do the thing that I said I was going to do. But it comes a time where it starts eating at you. How bad do you want it? Because when you decide that you want something bad enough, nothing can get in your way, including yourself. You start to move differently. You start to drive past the excuses. You're probably saying, Jen, you are being too hard on yourself. You did just have a baby. And ironically enough, I feel like I'm more consistent now that I have a newborn than I've ever been in my life. It's like something happened once she came into my life. Just watching her grow and watching her change so quickly is making me realize how much time I've been wasting. And ironically enough, she takes really short cat naps, 30 minutes max. And within 30 minutes, it's crazy how much I can get done. Before having a baby, if you gave me 30 minutes to do something, mm, I will tell you it's not enough. I wouldn't even start the thing because 30 minutes, that's social media time. I can waste 30 minutes. But now that I feel like time is crucial, time is more important, and I see it go by, I see how much my daughter changes on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I'm realizing, wow, time is flying. 30 minutes is a lot of time. I can clean my whole house in 30 minutes. I can do so much editing in 30 minutes. And time is precious. When it does go by, you don't get it back. So are you being productive with your time? Or are you making excuses? I've been thinking about this a little deeper as to why I make these excuses. Why do I not do the things that I say that I'm going to do? And I think part of it is being in my comfort zone and wanting to stay in my comfort zone. Doing the things that I want to do. I always have these great ideas. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But actually doing them means that my life is going to change. It's going to change somehow. It's going to change into something that I don't know. And that... I think it's the reason why I make these excuses because I don't actually want the change. I have the ideas, but am I prepared for the change? Hmm. I'm getting to a point though where I'm getting uncomfortable with my comfort zone. And it's very interesting to see the change that's been happening and how my perspective have changed over the past three months. The days are long, but blink twice and a year would have gone by. And you still haven't done the things you said you were going to do. And by you, I mean me. So I encourage you today to hit pause, search within, and figure out why. Because a lot of times, there's something there, there's something blocking us from actually following through with the promises that we make to ourselves. Now we're not even gonna address the elephant in the room, which is my hair color. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, <laughs> that's it. Let's just say it's back to being black and leave it at that. All right, so it's been a few hours and I actually took a whole nap because I was so tired. I put my head on the couch, girl, and I was gone. So this is what my hair looks like. It's not 100% dry, especially the back. I was laying back on the couch, so it's a little smooshed. That's okay. It's not 100% wet yet. 100% wet, is that what I said? It's not 100% dry yet. But when it does, I feel like I'll do my makeup and do a whole after. But for now, this is like the unofficial after <laughs> I'll get into the I really like how my hair turned out actually like the bigger pieces and I'm probably saying that because it didn't take me as long to do than you know really taking my time and doing small little ringlets <laughs> quite enjoy efficiency I'll give you a 360 and honestly having a shape to your hair by the way really helps with style like this because your hair is just gonna fall just nicely special around the back right here that's all shape if you've never had a trim never had a shape and your hair is all different length 
It's not going to look like this. Just a little FYI, girl. The side, the back, the other side, and back to the front. Next time you see me, am I gonna put on makeup this week? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. 